This is going to be a two part video, maybe three, I'm not sure yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to take in a regular numeral and convert it to a Roman numeral. So the first thing we need to do is get a regular numeral from the user. So what we're going to do is public int, because it's going to return an integer. We'll say get numeral. And it won't need to take anything in. Alright, so we need a scanner. Notice we have the import at the top at the top, so scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. This probably sounds familiar if you're watching the playlist. You've seen this a few times. This is for people who haven't been watching it. As this program will take a number and convert it to a Roman numeral. Enter number. Then we'll say the next integer is the number, so int uh, num equals input dot next int and we'll return num. Alright, next thing we need to do is uh, well, the way we're going to build this program first is we're going to have an empty string, and depending on what the number is, we're going to have a series of while statements and if statements to either, or to add something to that string. And we'll either add that thing to the end of the string, or to the uh, number right before, or to the character right before the end. So let's say we have a string mcm uh, x and we want to subtract one from it so that right there is nine one thousand nine hundred ten and we'll get to there in the while statements but let's say it needs to be one thousand nine hundred nine we would then insert the i right here to make it one thousand nine hundred nine so we need some kind of method that can insert a character in a string right before the end and that's what we're going to write right now so we'll say public needs to return a string and we'll say insert yeah we'll just call it insert see it'll take in a string we'll call that the numeral and we need to have a character to submit there we'll call a letter Huh, public string oh I have the word public capitalized that's why it's not working okay and we'll call that insert there all right so we first need an, we're gonna do this with an array list so array list character list and that is going to, so we're going to create an array list, so that's equals new array list. I should mention, I, uh, this program took me probably about an hour and a half to write, and then I just wrote down by hand, and I'm uh, going off that right now. So I'm not actually writing it as we speak, it's, I'm just copying my other work that I did beforehand. So we need a, uh, for each loop, we're going to take the string and we're going to put each we're going to take the string right here, and we're going to put it into an array of characters. So, for a character, and we'll call it just chars, or cars, whatever you want to call it. Numeral dot to char array. And then we tell it what to do with each, with each of these uh, characters. We're going to just add it to the list. So let's start add jars. So we now have the string into an array list of characters. And we'll just we'll say let's start add list dot oh it's not where I should be. Let's start add list dot size minus one and letter. So that will add the uh, letter to the very end of the loop. Er, 
that will add the uh, that will add the letter that we're taking in to right before the last inside the string, or it'll do it to the array list. But then we need to take that array list and turn it back into a string. So we'll call this string builder. I think it's yeah, that's no space. I'm using the variable t there. I can use any variable. So that will equal new string builder. And I'll put a space there. No. Guess I wasn't supposed to have the spaces. Like I said, I'm just copying my hand notes by hand. So then for int i equals zero, while well, i is less than the list size. We're going to iterate i up a little bit. And we're just going to continue adding everything onto our new strings. And if you want a uh, specific element in a array list, you do list.get. Or whatever whatever the name of your array list is, .get. And then we need to make that, uh, we'll make string s the equal t dot to string, to string, and then we'll return s at the end of it. And this is going to give us a small error. Uh, we get it, I believe the, uh, I think the error crops up right here. If we have an empty string, which we will at different points, we it won't add it to the thing before last because it can't find that because there's nothing in there. So if numeral is equal to a empty string, which we are making right there, we're just going to return the quotation marks plus the letter. So we can call this method now and add anything to the string. Anyways, uh, it's only been about seven and a half minutes, but I'm just going to stop the video right here. And we'll take up the next method where all the real work is done in the next video. Thanks for watching.